What's going on folks? This is Jagos and today I am going to be talking about Firefall IP and what it really means to Mark Kern. Now I'm not going to go over every last little detail that he said but there's going to be a link to an archive because I don't trust Firefall. I don't trust Reddit not to sit here and try to delete what he says in any way shape or form or the moderators or anything else. But I played Firefall for a little bit of time. And with that little bit of time, what happened was that I found the game to be bland. I found it to be boring based on what I like in a game. And I believe that there was a lot of potential that was left on the table. And the fact of the matter is, some of this is confirmed by what I've looked up with in regards to Mark Kern. Um, if you have been following Firefall and Red Studios, I believe that's the name of the company, you know that mark kern left on really bad terms and a lot of propaganda came out against him the company was sitting here and trying to make a quote unquote wow with guns if for any other reason a lot of mmos seem to sit here and everybody seems to just kind of narrow in on trying to make money as much as possible instead of making a good game uh, there was another one that I was going to start following and playing, but I've just been hearing negative, 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 negative about it, and it's called Wildstar, to my knowledge. Um, some of that has to do with people in the decision-making process that just didn't have no idea what the hell they were doing. You'll hear about it as SJWism. I'm going to go into that when I talk about it more, but I'm not going to sit here and talk about it now. But Wildstar is another example of how people that don't know what the hell they're doing sit here and decide to make a game and they just make the game worse in some way, shape, or form. And that's basically what happened. Now, what Mark Kern does here is that he says, look, I would love to get the name of Firefall, which is so I can sit here, remake the game, and remake it in the vision that I had actually seriously wanted. I may not get all of the people that I want. Some of them sit here and gonna be with me. But if I buy the game and then after I buy the game, I can sit here and make and create with this IP. I can sit here and start not from scratch, but I'll have something that's already built in that I can sit here and work with and make this thing work from the beginning to the end. That's what he's looking into doing. Now, I follow Mark Kern just as, you know, a disclosure. I do follow him. He has this thing with navels. He shit posts a lot. He does a lot of talking about, you know, he does a lot of shit posting, a lot of different things. You know, he's kind of a guy that I can actually agree with. In regards to Gamergate, he was supposedly a neutral He's since been pushed into the gamer crowd because, you know, most of his positions align with a lot of gamers, whereas he also has the League of Gamers to sit here and kind of help to rebuild his image. Now, I don't follow every last little thing that he does, but I'm just saying I know who he is, I know of, about him, but I don't have any relationship outside of that. So when I'm talking to you about this, you can take it as you will. I'm not trying to sit here. And I don't get paid to sit here and tell you all anything good or bad about him. And you can read his words for yourself because this is an archive post. But in terms of what he's doing, I have to say this is something that is fairly normal. THQ did it, but they did it more or less to another publisher. This is hoping that not necessarily that this publisher sits here and just fire sells it off but they sit here and sell it to him at at least a discount of the price or something like that as it's not making money which if you look at it if they are looking at it as wow with guns instead of looking at it as its own brand something that mark kern had a lot to do with then yes you're going to see this difference so my point here is if this game fails in some way shape or form i'll let you all know i'm following this story because the fact of the matter is mark kern 
I may not agree with everything that he does or says or whatever. I mean, I don't agree with everybody 100% of the time. But in terms of what he does with Firefall, I do think that this may be an interesting change for the IP. If it's failing right now because a lot of people looked into the patches, one of the patches basically really just decimated the community. Most of the people just absolutely left the game and they don't even want to play it. And I'll show you one that's down at the bottom that's going to be Dogman Dan. And in regards to Firefall, he absolutely won't play it again. Maybe this might get him interested. I don't know what kind of features that they may need. Because again, I played it very early. My experience with the game was I tried to go through the tutorial. And after going through the tutorial, I found it very boring. I found it very, very... After you finish the tutorial which I I started it and after I started it I got done maybe three days later because I got bored halfway through that's how I got introduced to Firefall it was kind of like well you're coming over here you're fighting this platoon I don't know exactly how to make this game better it just wasn't my style and I got more into the instance battles of Warframe. This was when I was in that transition phase of TF2 to basically Warframe. And I tried a few MMOs. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. I got to get back into Dungeon Fighter Online. But that's another story and another video and something else. But for this one, I take a look at it. It might be something that you're interested in. It's something to look into. Why does he want Firefly, Firefall to fail? And then what can he do in regards to getting the assets and then sitting here and making this game a lot better? Think of it for the most part as he's trying to buy a franchise that he had already sit here and helped produce. He knows what's already in there. He knows how to make it better. And... I actually am very interested to see what he would do with it. Can he make it better for vets? Can he make it better for new players? I don't know. But very interesting. Something to look into. And then after this, we'll have to see what the executive team thinks about when he's undermining them in the public. They may not look at that in the same way. So... Besides that, I'm still working on the publisher video, and I'm looking it up a few things, and I gotta sit here and look into to some economics, other stuff, to sit here and make this um, argument a little bit more concrete, especially for a preliminary. So, I'll talk to you, Ann Cam. Talk to you all later. Take care.